Hello, my name is Eve in this cloud computing project that I'm going to present you. I'm using an IntelliJ IDEA developed environment and Java programming language. The project that I uh, call it Cloud Computing Project con consists of uh, several modules. The main of them are group 1 through group 3 module that combine all the original questions that were required in the project. There are uh, some alternate uh, modules like a free file store or a data transform or Cassandra report that I developed in order to support these uh, main modules. Uh, since we have uh, three groups groups of questions so I define it for each answer the separate module for example for group 1 I have three modules that uh, correspond to the questions the first question was to rank airports uh, that's uh, the same of the module is GR1 airport rank the second one is carrier rank and the final question of the first group is a uh, weekdays rank let's go through the uh, java implementation of this question so we have here airport rank map reduce uh, implementation that has its uh, configuration uh, run function and has uh, two classes the map class and a uh, reduce class since it has uh, two, two jobs so for each job we have uh, two classes accordingly <coughs> This way I implemented uh, all of these uh, questions and uh, presented the result in the HDFS uh, file system. Another group of questions is group 2 that uh, requires to record your result into the Cassandra database. So it's more complicated and it was a, a different configuration you need to define your uh, column family like all column families I'm using Cassandra database define it here in the DB uh, folder where all scripts located to create the key space itself and all the uh, column families uh, five at all. I run them from the command line and uh, write uh, the results into these column families. So the first one uses airport carrier performance uh, column family. I pass through the host. So it's uh, just some default value that is uh, changed according to the DNS name and IP address of the uh, cluster uh, node, master node. <coughs> so what is it's different from the other uh, implementations uh, is in that that it has some switch and if this uh, the database that uh, par the parameter that I pass through the command line and I use this branch that belongs to our database and I define column family output format class in my uh, reducer uh, class okay this way I implemented all the question all five questions that uh, belongs to to database and uh, the final one tra travel best arrival uh, belongs to question two of group three a uh, very complicated question where you, you need to meet uh, two flights the requirements of two flights that must uh, start one uh, departs 
before 12 a.m. and the second departs after 12 a.m. The difference uh, in uh, days should be two days between first leg and second leg. So you know, in order to meet these requirements, I mean, you need to scan all of the rows and uh, filter out uh, those flights the, um, that meet uh, the requirements. It's uh, quite a complicated task that requires some business logic involved. So finally, uh, just as in case uh, with the previous questions, I write uh, the result to Cassandra database here with the mutator. <coughs> a very interesting question was a uh, question, first question in group three that related to Parvo. It is implemented in our language. This is my implementation, and I am going to show you the. Uh, the final graph I achieved it uh, very close to one that presented on the example page of the uh, cloud computing project website. And uh, so that's uh, uh, all about implementations. Uh, let's go and see how I run my modules. So here is uh, my cluster. I define the cluster in Elastic Map Reduce. Uh, I called it CCP Airlines Cluster 1. It has uh, one master node of type C3 extra large and four data nodes of type C4 large. Actually, we can see here all of the instances with the one master and four. Uh, it reloads. Just a moment. Okay. With the one with my master and four data nodes. And one micro I have used for file server. Uh, where I stored uh, the files are after cleanup in order to load those files into a GDFS file system into the cluster. The S3 storage of uh, AWS I used to store my jar files that uh, needed to fit the cluster steps. So uh, you need some storage that is a uh, three storage that uh, stores your modules and the steps you are going to use on them. Uh, basically, I covered almost all what I needed. The final thing is reports, Cassandra reports, because you can't read from the column families. It's uh, very, very uh, hard to understand rows uh, column by column. So, very useful to use. Uh, Report some report tool. So I developed uh, Cassandra reports. And when I run it, I got all the necessary uh, reporting data formatted formatted at the um, appropriate form that is required by the the project itself. So <coughs> I think that I covered the. Uh, all of the modules and my implementation and results including uh, power graphs so thank you very much for your time and see you next time at the task 2